Welcome back everybody, Marty again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install your first blog in WordPress Direct. This is very exciting. By the end of today, your blog is going to be up and running and getting ready to rank in Google for your terms so that you can get some traffic to test. So, without any delay, let's get right to it. So before you start your installation, you need to have a few things ready. First, you want to have your WordPress Direct account. On uh, the first day of Module 2, I showed you how to sign up for a free WordPress Direct account uh, that we're giving to all the challengers. So if you've done that, then you should have your login email address and password. The next, you'll need a domain name. This is the one that you registered based on the theme keyword that you chose and researched in Market Samurai. You'll need a web hosting account, um, which is hosting that domain, which means the name servers in the domain are pointing to that hosting account. Kenny Goodman should have covered that. You need your category keywords. These are the ones that you've chosen to um, optimize your site around. And then you need a brief um, description. Uh, we suggest uh, 20 to 30 words. Uh, this is an, something optional. You can put it in later but uh, we're just uh, suggesting that you have everything together at the time that you do the installation so you don't forget. Now, um, let's go to WordPress Direct. Uh, we're on the home page. Now, where do you want to go is the login link. Click that button, enter your details, and then you'll be taken into the members area. Now, another good thing about the login page is that it gives you updated uh, news and announcements. Uh, sometimes during the challenge we'll post things here um, that everybody in the challenge needs to know. So when you're logging in just take a glance to the left of the uh, of the login fields. Okay when you're in the members area it looks just like this. This is your um, website dashboard. This is where you have all the sites listed since this is a new account there are no sites in it yet. The two main things you want to do are install your sites and manage your sites. Manage your sites brings you back to this page. And what we want to do now is do an installation, which is going to be this big red button. Now, before we go there, uh, there are a couple other things that I want you to um, have planned ahead for. So let's talk a little bit, just a refresher on web hosting. WordPress Direct can use any cPanel hosting account. That's really a brand name. Uh, cPanel is something that if your hosting account provider has that environment, it'll be explicitly listed. Um, if you don't know of a hosting provider to use, then you can see our FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, for the list of the hosting providers that we support. The challenge uses HostGator as its uh, preferred hosting provider. We've had run thousands of people through HostGator with no problems. So if you are um, on the fence, then we recommend you choose HostGator. Uh, if this is your first site, uh, then you have no worries. You just get a HostGator account as uh, advised by Kenny. And then if not, uh, what you should do, if you already have sites and you already have hosting accounts, what you can do is make an add-on domain in your cPanel dashboard and use that instead of having to buy a new account just for this site. All right now the last thing you also want to do is check for an index of listing. You should have pointed the name servers to your hosting account as shown in the hosting video. And let's go to our uh, our example site here which is going to be the green tea supplement blog. You'll see that I have a, a, a listing that says index of and that's what we call the index of listing. Now if you're hosting is set up properly and the domain is pointing at it, you will see this before doing your installation. Now the other thing that you might see if you are new to this and you've just signed up for a HostGator account is the HostGator welcome screen and that will be the you know, it'll be kind of bluish and it'll have the picture of the alligator on it and that's okay too. Um, either one of those, an index of or the HostGator welcome screen is okay. So I'm going to go back into um, the WordPress Direct Control Panel. Um, if you look down the side, you're going to see uh, a bunch of tools. You might not see all of these tools. Uh, first off, because I'm in a developer's account uh, that we use internally. And also because my account level here is gold, uh, which is a professional level account. Um, so it's going to have um, some other tools that we include with the gold accounts. Otherwise, your account and the installation is going to work exactly the same way. Now, um, WordPress Direct can get you started putting up a blog on any topic, whether you have domains or hosting uh, already or not. 
And in this case, I'm going to show you how to build a blog on this um, keyword, green tea supplement, and I've gone and researched the primary keyword and the secondary keywords. And so I've registered the domain green tea supplement blog. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a few things before you're able to install your blog. Now as far as your hosting account details that you're going to need, you should have gotten something from HostGator, if you signed up with them, that looks something like this that has your username and password that you're going to need to go and install your blog using WordPress Direct. So I'm going to do that now by clicking Install New Site. Now the first thing you're going to see is our theme uh, library. And you can choose a theme. Um, we suggest in the challenge you use the recommended themes, but you can uh, switch to all themes and search if you don't find something that you're looking for. What I've done is I've saved a theme to my favorites um, that I looked up ahead of time called Green Leaves, and I'm going to use that for, for this site. So we'll go to this uh, link below the theme and say uh, use this to install the new site. And that was step one, choosing the theme. Now the second step will be to take our information that we received from HostGator and use that to set up the blog. So I'm going to take my domain name and I'm going to put it in here. Now what you're going to see is that if you want to put your blog for instance in a folder like blog, you put your domain name in and then put slash blog right, like this. But in this case I just want to put the blog in the uh, right at where the, the, the main goes. So this will be a www.greenteasupplementblog. The system will deal with it whether you type in the www or not. So you can just put your domain in there and it'll work just fine, okay? And then we'll hit submit. What this is going to look and do is see whether the domain is already registered. In this case, you should already own the domain name. So click I own this name. And then you'll see the hosting information screen. Now it should default to I have my own hosting, in which case you can just take your details and enter it and you will take the hosting details that you got from HostGator or you, whoever your hosting provider is and put them in this area. Now once you enter the password you'll, conf uh, you'll click configure and install and that will start setting up the blog. So now you'll see that it's processing. Uh, everything looks good. So now it's asking you for the remaining information in this case, we're going to take the keywords that I looked up for the Green Tea Supplement blog, and we're going to take that primary keyword and make it our website title. And uh, it's good to, to we'll just capitalize all of the words in the keyword phrase. The slogan you can optionally display underneath the title, um, and it's good to have your main keyword in there. So we'll say um, get the latest green tea supplement tips for good health. All right, so for the email, this is going to be your email so that um, the contact form will go to this. So you put in your email and we'll put in gmail.com. We'll see whose email that is. Um, I'll put in my password. This password is how you would access the WordPress admin area. Uh, we're not going to talk about that this time, uh, but um, there's lots of videos on WordPress out there, so this is the password that you're going to use, so make sure you can remember it. Uh, we're going to take the rest of our keywords and put them in as the website keywords. All right, so we'll put those here. Um, again, it'll give you suggestions if you don't remember what this is. Now the website description <clears throat> Um, is a good thing to also um, put use your primary and secondary keywords in because this is what Google will display when it indexes the site. So actually, let me go and... Um, so what I've done is I've taken a few of my keywords to make a description, uh, and you'll see them in there. Find out about green tea health benefits, green tea recipes, and uses for green tea concentrates to promote good health. All right, so just basically taking some of your keywords and working them into the description, and this is what Google will display when it lists your site on its search results pages. Now in this case, uh, I don't have an analytics ID yet. We're going to have a video that shows you how to put that in afterwards. Um, you can, you don't have to do it at this step. It's optional. As far as the two checkboxes, just leave those as they are. Um, the first one will install some software with your keywords, but it won't actually post any content to your sites unless you set that up, and we'll show you that um, in a separate video. Um, and then 
you also have this other uh, plugin if you bought a gold account or better. Um, and otherwise it'll be grayed out. So just leave them as they are. Click install website instantly. And this is the last step. Basically it's gonna check your settings. And this uh, should take maybe mm, 20 seconds. I'm literally gonna leave the video running just so you can see how quick it is. That's it, real time, it's done. So now you can start posting uh, to your blog. Uh, but for the purpose of the challenge, uh, the videos are gonna show you how to post through Market Samurai so that you can take uh, your keywords and put content that you find for those keywords directly onto your blog. So we're going to cover that in a separate video. Um, just so you can see what the site looks like, I'm going to go to our index of listing and I'm going to refresh it. <clears throat> now you'll see that our blog is installed with our theme, but it says there's nothing found. And that's because we don't have any content on the blogs yet. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is when you don't have any content, you're not going to see any categories. Now we have created categories for all of your keywords. But until you post some content on those categories, WordPress isn't going to display it. So back in your control panel, if you go to Manage My Sites, you'll see the site in here now that it's installed. If we go to Manage Categories, you'll see that we do have categories for all of those keywords. And um, you can uh, write content or have our um, content software post content on any one of these keywords, and then they'll show up on your blog. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, you understand it, uh, and it was easy enough for you. If you have any questions, please do file a support ticket um, with our help desk at the address shown on the screen, which is wpdirect.com support. And as always, if you do like these videos, you can find more videos uh, on this process and how to get yourself started online at uh, the Challenge website, which is Challenge dot co